and Elizabeth um, got a bit of a scrape on her leg. And it doesn't look very nice, does it? Yeah. It was bleeding quite a lot yeah. and she put a little bit of a tissue on, but you know very quickly the clotting factors kick in. But what we need to do is we need to give it a little wash and I've made some seawater. The, the, uh, the recipe for seawater is one teaspoon of salt to one cup of water. And I made it with boiling water just to be sure. But Elizabeth can relax. I'm not going to put boiling water on her leg. And what I'm doing is just dipping this soft cloth. We, we want a nice soft cloth and I've got it at, at the right temperature and we're just going to um, clean the area. It's, no. So we're just going to clean the, the, the area. You don't want to clean it too, um, too vigorously because you don't want to start the bleeding. We're just going to clean the, the blood away. And then we're going to get another fresh, fresh cloth. And we're going to dip it again in the seawater. It might sting a little. Does it sting? Not much. It's not stinging. <clears throat> and we're just going to take the edge off that so it's just warm. And we're just going to lay it on there again. And take it off. So we're really just cleaning it up. And we're very gentle because we don't want it bleed, starting to bleed again. Now the very simplest thing to do with an open wound like that is to, is to put a dressing on there that's not going to stick. We do not want it to stick. So I've got a cloth, a soft cloth, and we're putting some cream on it. Now the cream could be, the cream could, this is mostly calendula, which is a lovely skin cream. At the chemist, you can buy non-stick dressings and those non-stick stick dressings, I think they're mostly a paraffin or a, a, a um, some sort of cream that Vaseline, something like that. And the beauty of those dressings is that they do not stick because Elizabeth's skin down here is quite um, delicate. It's, it's opened quite easily. So as you can see, I'm um, I'm lathering this on quite thickly and we're going to just lay, lay that on the wound and because it's well oiled there and it'll just, it'll just stay stuck to the wound which is what we want and because Elizabeth is walking around, but Elizabeth's not going to do any more bushwalking today, are you, Elizabeth? Okay. No, not today. <laughs> um, that will actually just stay there quite nicely and stick on there. Mm -hmm. And if uh, Elizabeth wants to have a shower tonight, um, of course that would fall off in the shower, and that's quite okay. And then she would just very gently pat it dry and put another cloth that like I have just done smeared with the oil. One of the problems when you dress a wound like this is if it gets stuck and then when it goes to come off it can pull the skin off. You must never do that. If it looks like it's stuck in any way then you you put it in water and you soften it and soften it and soften it because the tearing of the skin can make the whole situation worse. So tonight after Elizabeth's shower, she can repeat that little cloth with the oil on and maybe put a little um, plastic or if you don't want to use plastic, you can put some wool over it and then bandage that on. And that would protect it while she sleeps in the night. And then in the morning, we'll have a look and see what's happening. Thank you, Elizabeth, for, uh, for 
allowing us to, to, to treat your scrape. Thank you for creating my scrape. Creating the scrape. <laughs> yes, we went across country 